This is an epigyne, the reproductive structure of a female spider. It is a sort of lock plate mechanism between the outside world and her uterus. These organs may seem like shapes from beyond our cosmological threshold, but we can make sense of them by comparing them to things in the human realm of cognition. Okay, so you take a crazy straw. No, a really crazy straw. Add a couple of water balloons and a spatula. Then double it and you've got a model epigyne. Now let's look at a real one. The most common spider in cities and towns across the northern hemisphere. Arrhenius diatomatus, the cross orb weaver. Although she is venomous, her bite is harmless to humans. Through summer and autumn, she rids our neighborhoods of flies and pests. Her epigyne is on the underside, here. At first glance, the spider does not appear to be female, because this structure, known as a scape, is suggestively familiar to our human concept of genitalia. The scape is represented by the spatula in our version, and is essentially a handle for the male to grab. By applying leverage to the scape, he opens the end of the crazy straw, or the genital aperture, and gains access to the copulatory ducts, which end in the balloon-like seminal receptacles. She can store sperm in these pods for weeks or months while she fattens her body on flies and pests. The males are equipped with organs called pedipalps, which are like mittens full of tools to bypass the complicated barrier to intimacy. This 3 mm long Helophora reducta from a woodpile in Wenatchee, Washington, is also a female, despite her priapic proportions. When dissected, the epigyne reveals familiar structures, the copulatory ducts and the seminal receptacles. The scape is very tiny and located at the tip of the structure, a small plate the male can bend back to open the gates of consummation. Not all female spiders have an epigyne, but many common families do, like the jumping spiders, the wolf spiders, the crab spiders, and the sack spiders. The precise design varies by species, so there are literally tens of thousands of distinct shapes. They can be used to confirm the identity of invasive organisms, like this Citharon predonius, an African spider that has successfully colonized Florida. Next time you feel like you need to kill a spider, please think of her little crazy straw balloons and consider sparing her life. Thank you.